Before this video begins, I have a community post up on YouTube asking what is your favorite aircraft. I would like you to answer the question as I will know what aircraft you guys like. Thank you for that one person who answered my vote. Now, let's go to the video about the 747 history. To begin with, the 747 is known as the Queen of the Skies having its first ever commercial flight with Pan American in January 1970. Since then, the variants of each 747 improved to today we know as the latest variant the 747-8i. The first ever 747 flown from New York to London on Pan American. The aircraft that was used was called Clipper Victor. Clipper Victor was actually hijacked a year later, and it was finally destroyed in the Tenerife Airport disaster in 1977. The first ever 747 model was a 747-100. It featured an upper deck lounge for first class passengers to enjoy. Then, out came the 747-200. It was an upgraded variant of the 747. It was first flew with KLM. The picture shown was the exact aircraft which was later hijacked as KLM 861 in 1973. Afterwards, in 1982 the 747-300 was founded and it included a longer upper deck. However, despite all of this, it was the least sold 747 variant. Shortly afterwards, it was 1989, and Boeing developed another 747 model. This was the 747-400, and it was a more modernized cockpit with winglets on the wing. This model was soon upgraded with the ER or extended range version for Qantas to use for its flights to the United States. This was the most sold version of the 747. Finally, in 2010, the last ever 747 variant was founded and this was the 747-8i. However, this variant was not as popular as the 747-400. Only three airlines ordered the passenger version which was Lufthansa, Korean Air and Air China. This variant was more popular as a cargo version with 107 compared to the passenger with 48 aircrafts. This variant was not so popular because airlines were drifting away from this and going to more fuel-efficient aircrafts like the A350 and 787. Today, in 2023, the 747 has ended production earlier this year in February. However, this aircraft still remains as the queen of the skies and it always will. There are still many 747 aircraft still flying so there is always an opportunity to fly on this aircraft if you haven't already.